our first time schools in the UK and is 14. He had gone back to school in February 2020 and was due back home at the end of March. Then the pandemic worsened and a lot of things became impacted. The UK government had to ask that all schools be shut down on the 20th of March and we had to make arrangements to change his flight date. The earliest date we could get was March 24th and just when we had concluded, the federal government of Nigeria shut down the airspace to international flights. We kept trying for him to get a flight home, but every effort proved abortive as airlines were cancelling their flights and the private chartered flights were just too exorbitant. Sometime in June, we got him booked on yet another flight that was due to come into the country on the 17th of July. But two weeks to that date, that flight was also cancelled. At that point, I knew I really had to pray more. I told God to please provide a flight for my son to return home before the 15th of July. I sent in the prayer points during the Zoom prayer meeting and also in my small group, and I wrote it as one of my requests during the Accelerate prayer conference. I had a leading to ask in my small group if anyone had information about incoming flights from the UK and I got an info on Airpeace flight. I inquired and eventually got an economy class ticket. On the day of the flight, it turned out that the flight was overbooked. The lady that volunteered to take my son to the airport, I had never met her. She heard he was coming home and was going to take a taxi alone and decided to help. So when the flight was overbooked, she had to request for them to put my son on a business class seat. As God will have it, the airline staff decided to oblige and they checked in my son into the last business class seat on the flight direct to Lagos at no extra cost. I want to bless God for sending us help along each step of the way and for special favors. I thank him that all through this period he provided a home for my son's stay and sent him help. Above all, he preserved him from COVID-19 and brought him back home safely. Praise the Lord.